Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today for FreshPing's overview video. FreshPing is a free website monitoring software trusted by over 80,000 businesses worldwide. Using FreshPing, you can monitor your website and be notified of its status wherever you are, be it Slack, email, SMS, or thousand other apps through Zapier. With FreshPing, you can monitor websites with HTTP, HTTPS, and other protocols like DNS, ICMP ping, TCP, UDP, and WebSocket from 10 different locations around the world. All you need to get started is a URL or web endpoint to monitor and your email address. Let's get started by adding a check. Click on the Add Check button, choose from the list of supported protocols, enter the check URL and name of the check for your reference. Set up the check interval, which is the frequency at which the URL should be monitored. It can either be every one minute or five minutes. You can invite your teammates to get notified in real time as well, in case of an anomaly. This is good enough to start monitoring and get you and your team notified. Let's say if you wish to pass additional parameters during the HTTP monitoring, you can add them right under the additional HTTP parameters section. This comes in handy when there is an authentication layer to monitor the given web page. Further, you can choose the monitoring location and also configure SSL monitoring under advanced settings. Beyond configuring the check, FreshPing allows you to fine tune when you wish to get notified under advanced settings and what FreshPing should check to report whether the website is up or down. Say for example, you can configure FreshPing to consider a URL as up only when it contains a particular string. This ensures not just the website is up, but also ensures that the website is not defaced or compromised. You can also configure FreshPing to look for specific HTTP code as the response to be considered that the website is up. To avoid false positives, you can configure FreshPing to alert you only when the check is down for two or more consecutive polls. In addition, you can also set FreshPing to alert you when the response time goes beyond a set threshold limit. Many times, it's not just about monitoring or getting notified, but also showcasing to your customers how well the web page is performing. This helps you bring transparency to the system, build trust, and reduce the help desk load during abnormality. That's where the public status page and badges come into play. Status pages allow you to communicate incidents, status of your services, and keep users updated on downtimes. The status page lets you customize the checks to list down, add your company logo, and configure a custom domain too. You can have up to five different status pages as a part of the free plan. Depending on the stakeholder you wish to show, you can add relevant checks to each status page. Alrighty, now you are ready to share the status page with your users. Moving on to the next one, badges. Similar to the public status page, status badges are used as a visual representation of your web page's current status. They serve as a crisp image file that can be added to your website or help desk homepage or any other web pages you want. Many of our customers have linked the badge's target URL to the status page for detailed information. Here's how you can design your badge. Start with giving the badge a new name for your identification and the target URL on the badge click. Decide the look and feel of the badge. Choose the checks to communicate the status. And your new status badge is ready for embedding on any web page. Now let me take you through other insights an admin can get from the dashboard's reports. You can view all the monitor checks listed in the dashboard with a nifty little response time graph. This lets you go through the vital monitoring information as soon as you log in. Okay, now let's say you have maintenance going on and you don't want the checks to be monitored for that maintenance window. You can pause the checks right from the dashboard and restart monitoring them once maintenance is complete with just a single click. It's that easy. Under the report section, choose the check for which you want to view the detailed report. Details such as availability, downtime, longest downtime duration, and incident details can be viewed in the report section. You can also view the historical uptime for the past 90 days at the bottom of the graph. Lastly, you can extend the power of FreshPing by integrating with other apps. With integrations, you can receive alerts wherever you are, 
be it Slack, SMS, email, or more. You can integrate with Freshdesk or Fresh Service to create a ticket automatically in case of an anomaly. You can also choose to integrate with Twilio or connect with Zapier to integrate with 1000 plus apps. Well, with that, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you got the chance to see how FreshPing can help you. If you have any questions, you can email us at support at freshping.io. If you haven't tried FreshPing yet, visit freshping.io and start for free. Thank you for watching this far. Happy monitoring!